Hey guys, I'm just gathering up a few things. Of course, I'm missing one thing, so I won't be showing that one. course I couldn't find my quilling tool at the last second so I just wanted to uh, pop on here and give you a couple of updates for the week because there's some things happening um, so as you know January is um, national scrap uh, national paper crafting month with close to my heart it gets celebrated every January and so the promotion for this year's National um, Paper Crafting Month is the Love Letters. So I just thought I would show you what it, they're all about. So just let me, I just want to make sure that I have everything in my frame and that our lights are okay. It has been like crazy, crazy cold here. Um, I really quite enjoyed the little bit of reprieve that we had of the nice weather, but that seems to be gone. Apparently just until next week. So here is a look at um, a finished love letter. There we go. Um, and I wanted to kind of go through the what comes with your kit. So uh, the love letters are available all month long. You pick the letter that you want and then I'm going to go through the package and what comes in it. So they're built of a super sturdy um, uh, cardboard, die, like a, sorry the word's not coming to me right at the moment, but it looks like it's a couple of layers of um, cardboard stuck together. So it's really like super sturdy. So um, the first letter I picked was H. Sorry it took me so long to uh, do this, but I was waiting for my set, my next kit to come. So this one is an L, so I wanted to just show you what comes in your package. So there is your, your letter and then a topper, which is half rose gold and half white. And each letter is obviously a different size. This needs to be adhered onto the cardboard. Then also in your package are all the pieces, obviously, to put it together. So there is a full rose gold um, alpha. Um, so you can spell it a phrase, you can spell it a word. There's lots of different options and there's tons of letters on the sheet. Then these are all the die cut sheets of the different um, shapes and flowers to add to your letter. There's three sizes of banners because each letter is a different width. So this banner might be per better for the L, but the like a W, you might need this full banner because it's a wider letter. So you have three different options. And then there's the gray flowers. And then included in your kit is the front page that's just a visual. Inside, it just gives you some it shows you each letter and some setup of how you might like your flowers. It doesn't mean that that's how you have to put them together. It just kind of gives you a general idea. So all the letters are available plus an ampersand. Um, some of the tools that um, might be helpful in assembling them are your bone folder, uh, quilling tool, which is that I was looking for that I couldn't find before I went live. Um, I use glue dots. Um, some adhesive, uh, liquid glass if you want for your layers, 
just don't get the bottom too wet because you'll be able to see the liquid glass through it that's not probably the best way to adhere it so and then chipboard that's the word I was looking for <laughs> the letter is actually heavy-duty chipboard so it's not bending at all so and then in included in here is also step-by-step -step directions for how to assemble your flowers but just because so I wanted to do this one exactly how the instructions detailed it but there's lots of tiny embellishments that you could use to add a little bit more um, shine or glimmer to your letter so there's always the um, the pearl dots the white dots the gold dots if you want it there's clear sparkles there's bitty sparkles there's the shimmer pens there's a clear one you could add it just to parts where you wanted to have a little um, gloss to make it a little shinier um, and there's also there's clear gold and bashful now um, okay so I think that's all for this so just so you remember this is only available during the month of January because that's when our national paper crafting month is and so you can order you can pick your letter um, they are 24 25 in Canada you pick your letter and they're available at my shopping website all month which is uh, www.chrisrobertson.closetomyheart.com Okay, so then the other thing is, don't forget, there's also this awesome stamp of the month. And also, as of today at um, 4 o'clock Central Time, we're having a flash sale. Uh, no idea what's going to be there, but that's when it starts. Um, it'll run from 4 p.m. Central Standard Time on Friday till the same time on Saturday. Uh, we just found out yesterday, so that's interesting. I'm not really sure what that's all about, but it's there for 24 hours. Um, now, the other thing I just wanted to show you, just in case anybody's in need of some Valentines. Um, as you all know, I have been uh, working my way through all the fundamentals. Uh, there's a scrapbooking workshop for each fundamental from close to my heart that I've designed. Um, and I've already done two um, card kits with it. So next up on my list, sorry, I'm just gonna take a sip of water. Next up on my <coughs> list to do was adventure. And I thought, oh, how fun would that be? <coughs> sorry, to um, create some Valentine's. So the timing just worked out very well. So in the new holiday uh, seasonal expressions idea book, there's this cute stamp set called We Belong Together, which is B1581. <clears throat> and um, it's got punny little sayings and uh, cute sentiments for cards. So that's what I used as the base for this card workshop. But you can switch it out to any sentiment. I try, like, especially with the fundamental... Um, card kits I tried to make it so that the um, sentiment stamping was versatile and could be used for any kind of stamp set that you might have that's any sort of sentiment so you could use it if you needed birthday cards then just use a birthday sentiment if you needed thank you cards you just used a thank you sentiment <clears throat> so this is a sneak peek uh, I'm just in the final process of getting everything up on my blog and uh, ready to go so <clears throat> um, I thought I would just kind of walk you through the supply list in case anybody wanted to get the supplies in advance um, for when the card kits available as always there is a cover page detailed photographs of all the cards uh, the cutting guide to maximize the use of all your papers 
and then a supply list. So I just thought I would go, which I didn't print for some reason, but that's okay. So um, it requires the card bases. <clears throat> I used all white card bases because we have the 50 bulk pack, but these would also be super cute if you wanted to cut your own cardstock and put them on different colors of cardstock. Half a pack of adventure paper, one piece of white daisy, which is just used for the sentiments, um, a roll of white and gold twine, uh, red enamel gems, and clear sparkles. And I thought I'd just quickly walk through the cards. And like I said, these by the weekend, I should have them up on my blog, which is Chris's Creative Life .ca. So there are 12 designs in this workshop. And so from the half a pack of paper, you make 24 cards. So two of 12 designs. Here's card number three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So that is kind of the update as to where things stand for the week. So just the reminder that the National Paper Crafting Love Letters are only available during the month of January. And again, you can purchase those for $24.25 on my website at www.chrisrobertson.ctmh.ca. The, don't forget about the awesome stamp of the month. The flash sale today, Friday, starting at uh, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, these will all be posted on my blog, hopefully by the weekend, which is Chris's Creative Life .ca. And don't forget for everybody that places an order during the month of January, I have a couple of uh, workshops up on my website. I have a Chelsea Gardens scrapbooking workshop and also the card making workshop that I finished up. So if you have a preference as to which one you would like, just let me know. Uh, and thanks for joining me today. Have a great day. Enjoy your Friday. Hopefully you guys are staying warmer than we are here. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.